Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 14 of my Sunderland and Wrote the Glory career mode on FIFA 19. And guys, this is the final episode of season 1. Definitely confirmed. I know I, I said the last time, but this one really is the last episode. As you know, we go through the seasons and stuff. Basically, go through the last final squad reports. Look at the other leagues in England and the, um, the cup competitions as well. And also, um, there will be some awards which we'll be doing... Um, Right now, actually, I'm going to get them over and done with. So, I want to quickly hop into the water, so as you can see. We've got man of the match there. 20 goals this season. Decent. Hey, goals and 46 claims. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quickly going to the water. Eight different awards, but seven of them are for some of the players. So, the first one is the best signing award. I've given them one to a player who only came in in January, but since he has come in, I've been, it's been a pleasure to use him. And he has been a very, very good player I think in my eyes. He didn't he only scored seven goals but I think he definitely made a massive impact on the team and definitely brought something up front. My guys is Kyle Edwards. Now obviously a couple, couple, couple of people would be like well, why don't you give the world Greg? That's because I got something else in store for him later on. Now the worst signing award, I mean like I'm I only made four signings and none of them I would say that were terrible because you know what what did well you know I brought in Greg Edwards and Lockyer, you know, they're on the first team there, they, they are good seasons. But obviously there's one player who's on my second team, who unfortunately he didn't, he didn't, he, he actually did quite good I thought, but compared to the three, didn't really do as well. And unfortunately he is Tanganga, as you can see there, 66 rated now, I'm pretty sure when I bought him he was like 62 rated, so you know, 66 overall is decent enough rating. Yeah, I mean like, I'll, I'll give it to someone, so Tanganga gets the award, even though he hasn't been a terrible player. Next award is for the best player, so player overall for had a very good season. My guys, it's Will Grigg. Now, I was very close to giving this to Lyndon Gooch, but Gooch, I mean, I mean he got a very, very close second. But Will Grigg, I mean, 20 goals says it alone, and apart from that, he's been very, very involved up front. He's been some, I, think he's, I think he's got a decent amount of assists as well, if you have a look. I think he's up there in terms of assists as well, yeah, Will Grigg. Uh, where is he? Uh, he's in here somewhere. Yeah, look, six assists as well. Very, very decent. And the fact, the fact that he's only played... He, so the fact that he's only played 33 matches a season, he has contributed to 26 goals in 33 games. But overall, I think he's been, probably been the best for the season. The worst player, again, was very hard to give it to. As no one was really terrible. But one player I just thought I didn't enjoy using it all. And I personally thought, you know, he probably deserves to be... I'm giving the worst player is Jack Baldwin. I mean, he just didn't feel like the player he is in real life. In real life, he's probably one of our better players, one of the most experienced ones. But in the game, I just didn't. As guys, I just didn't enjoy using them. Didn't think he was very good. His, his, his heading was good. Apart from that, he's just mediocre at best. And I didn't enjoy using them, so that's why I gave him the worst player of the world. If I wouldn't have given it to him, probably would. I probably would have given it. Uh, to probably dunk him a lot more, but you know he came around in the end, so that's why he's not the worst player. The most surprising player, so again, this is a player who I didn't think would have an amazing season, but actually turned out to do quite good, actually contributed quite well. And that guy is, is Dylan McGeoch. Uh, I see that he's 69 overall, but I think in a championship, he's, I'm, I'm planning to keep, I'm, I'm planning to use him in, in, in the championship next season. And I think I think he'll do, I think he'll do all right, to be honest, guys. Um, you know, he his rating does I wouldn't his rating wouldn't describe him out. He's definitely better than that. And McGeoch, I think. Um, yeah, I think he definitely deserves to get the most surprising player, most improved player. It was a toss up between two players, and um, I'm gonna I had to give it to Adam Matthews. Start the season absolutely dreadfully, but I think. When when we did get into that winning pattern, he did definitely start to um that he started to play better. The other player I was considering getting to is probably Jerome Sinclair. Well, I didn't get into it in the end because I don't really think I didn't really think that um that you know he played enough games to be honest to actually win it. Next one is the goal of the season. This one was so hard for me to pick. Probably the hardest one out of every one of them. Even though some even though some of you guys might be very obvious. But for me, it was between either Will Griggs ball basketball kick against Luton or Chris Maguire's chip against Gillingham. And I, I, I've had to, go, to give the goal to goal season to Will Griggs basketball kick against Luton Town. It was an unbelievable goal. It was the second goal of the Korean mode. It was the first from Will Griggs. 
but it was definitely the best one I thought. It was lovely over here, kicks, especially in the court from, from in the box as well. I mean, Chris McGuire's chip, m m m that goal was actually so blind the first time. It was very, very good, I thought. But Will Griggs just about won it. And third place was Juan Aviedo's goal against Bernardo very recently. Just a nice finish, I thought. Another this goal isn't really much in the war, it's just a good thing that's something I'll probably mention. The best goal which, we, which I conceded was by Stephen McLaughlin in the place of End. If you have an that goal, I don't know how, I, 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 even to this day, I can't even, don't even know how it went in. I think it's supposed to be a cross, but a loop to McLaughlin somehow went in. It was an unbelievable goal. And yeah, that goal, that was the goal. Look at that, guys, that was the awards that didn't that, that take very long. And now, guys, I'm going to go through a squad report, see how everyone's done, how they've done, done since. Start of the season, so have a look at the stats. That's the wrong stat attributes. Let's you know, look at everyone's overall. So, so McLaughlin is run up by one. Very comfortable season. You know, he kept the most clean sheets in the league by one, so very comfortable. Elliot Morris is gone up by six. He's now 64 overall. Looks de decent, guys. I'm definitely looking to keep, I'm definitely using, look, definitely looking to keep, um, to use him some point in the future. Robin Root, uh, sit the same, 60 overall. I actually haven't looked. I, he is. He will be leaving the club at the end of the season to go to the free agent list because I haven't decided to keep them. Don't know. Been out on loan. Definitely. I'm probably. I'm probably just gonna sell him. Hasn't. He's not. He's just not a good player, guys. I don't know if he's obviously won. He was the most improved player. Turns out he's so he's decent enough. Uh, Lewis Shaw's not gone on my nine. Obviously, obviously, I've been scouting. Not scouting him. Um, I've been training them up. So he's 60 overall. 16 years old. Looks decent. Lamy Corner is. He's gonna be leaving the club. Just not committed at all. Jack Baldwin's gone by one, so six seven overall. Tanganga yeah, he was six two overall when he came in, now sixty six, looks decent guys. Tom Lockyer, he, he only came in January, but he's already just gone up one with seventy overall, which is good to see. Ali Mods Turk. I mean I actually just realised I was gonna give him the most improved player, but you know that's how to give the Matthews instead. What plus one overall six six seven, probably gonna look to shift him on though. Same with Tom Flanagan, 27 years old, 67 overall, not bad, but not really. Championship quality. Denver Hume, he's gone by two. We played more than what I was going to play him. I'm not sure about him, keep on, but I, I haven't I have renewed his contract. By I'm looking to maybe, 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 maybe just, maybe just trying to listen. Brian Aviedo, he, he will be staying next season, but when we do get more to the Premier League, I probably will be looking to shift them on. And then also we've got the Wonder Kid, Brandon Mason, 6'6 six, six overall, 17 years old. He's got about 6 already, he's a decent player. He cut him all, he's getting old, 31 years old, 70 overall. I don't know where, I don't know where I'm going to keep him next season. My dear Max Power. It's just, it's just been unfortunate because he's been out half the season with injuries. It's just been unfortunate. I definitely want to try and get him involved next season though. Hugh Wright. Six one over. He's gone like eight again. I've been scouting him. I've been scouting training him. I don't know why I'm getting too mixed up. Decent player. Don't want more. I'm. I am definitely going to sell him next season. I mean, yes, he just hasn't the those two potential guys. Like, he's very unhappy. So yeah, he will be looking. He will be moving on. Same with Chris Maguire. Unfortunately, he's actually gone down. It's unfortunate to see. But again, it's not championship quality. Then the Gooch. He is looking to be a very good player. Hoping that you know if, if, if next season goes to plan, he has a very good season. And if I do get up to the Premier League, then I'm definitely looking to make sure he definitely gets in the squad. Luka Nine's definitely been a player who definitely surprised me this season. He's 60 overall, 24 years old, definitely one to look to keep an eye on. So George Honeyman's joining Darmstadt, obviously, when it comes to the closers. He's been decent he's played Jake Hackett. I'm, ho I'm going to try and I'm hopefully try and train him next season, hoping he can come out good. Elliot Hamilton, unfortunately, I've not renewed his contract. He will be leaving the club. Again, he just hasn't lived up to his potential. Ethan Robson's been long listed. That is his crest. Then McGee looks decent enough. Definitely want to keep him next season. In McGee, I'm looking to sell him on. He's been decent players. Just, you know, we've got, we've got this guy now, Carl Edwards. He's, I mean, like, this guy is an absolute magician. And then you've got Scott Science and the who, as you guys know, he's, he's definitely the one for the future. You know, he's just coming now. He's 16 years old now, 60 overall. With some training, he's going to actually well beat her. Just Magic, 69 overall, 20 years old. He's definitely got potential guy. I'm looking forward to using him. Will Grigg. Will I be using him as much this little next season? The decision will be yet to see. Sinclair's going to come out to Watford. I'm not, look, I'm, not looking to keep, I'm not looking to keep him. Charlie Wag again, I'm looking to move on. 
60 overall, 626 isn't bad, but I'll definitely look to keep moving on. Andrew Nelson definitely going to look to transfer this to him as well. I, I, I took him ages to, to, it took ages to get rid of him. Anyway, guys, that's got that's a great report. I'm not going to be looking through. Actually, actually we'll, we'll go through them, the domestic leagues first. See what's been going on there. So we'll look in the in the league one first, or something. Obviously, got and um, won the league. Along with Scunthorpe, we've got automatic promotion. The bottom four turned out to be Coventry City, Rochdale, Bristol Rovers, and Gillingham. So, so Andy, so Andy now actually got relegated Bristol Rovers. Not good there. Next, next up competition is the. Just gonna change. If they could, but well, won by Manchester City. They beat Leicester three 0 in the final. Next one, it should, it should be the Carabao Cup next. Just one more Tottenham. They beat Huddersfield two 0 They won a bit, bit of a run. Got like West Ham, Manchester United, Blackpool, um, Burnley. See, they haven't really had that toughest run, I suppose. Huddersfield, Macclesfield. So yeah, not 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 a toughest run. Never been. Other did end up getting beat by Tottenham in the end. Next one is a check to trophy. Obviously, we got knocked out pretty early. I think it was round one we got knocked out of. Oh crap, I pressed the wrong button, Marks. I'm sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I think we got knocked out of round one, which is pretty bad. There was some. I can find them. Or rip, or rip not there. Moving round two, then. Yeah, I know one of those, but it was quarter final. He had the quarter final loss against Newport. Doesn't matter. And the promotion Barnsley got promotion in the end. They beat Oxford United 2 1 in the final. Talks to Oxford United, they're definitely the biggest botters in the league. Start up, I saw that on the last episode, they were top of the league and then they didn't even get promotion, promotion in the end. Obviously, that was our pre season tournament back, I feel it was ages ago that obviously we lost in the final. Don't matter though. Super Cup won, won my Real Madrid. Champions League, Barcelona won the one, Champions League in all El Clasico final with Real Madrid beating 2 1. And in the Europa League, that was won by Arsenal, who beat Sporting in the final. That should be it, guys, for I know South, South America Cup, but I'm too bothered about that. I guess that's it. So now we're going to go to the other leagues from around the world, see what's been going on over there. So I'm in, so I'm in the Premier League. So for me, Man City won the Premier League. Quite come to the head of Chelsea, you know, Man City, you know, they didn't do as well, 92 points, but Chelsea, 13 points off, again, no title risk there. Manchester United, Everton, Everton getting surprising for after this. Arsenal, Tottenham, Liverpool getting the Europa League. West Ham, Burnett, so they actually got relegated. Newcastle stayed up, God's sake. So Fulham, Huddersfield and Cardiff City all got relegated. Not surprised, I'm, I'm, to, to be honest, I won't be surprised if they were the final bottom three this season. Championship. Stoke, West Brom, and Swansea like like they like they complete run with that league. Stoke to come out come out on top, which is um, which is weak on the real life. West Brom also get going up straight automatically. Swansea, Derby, Millsborough, and Blackburn all in the playoffs there. Bottom three in that one who got relegated with Bolton, Preston, and Rotherham. League two, MK Don, Lincoln, Colchester. They were in. They got all my promotion. Manfield, Exeter, Grimsby, Swindon. Playoffs and the two teams would have gotten relegated if there was a national league would have been Morecambe and Macclesfield. Just got the league on. PSG won that quite 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 through twelve points ahead of Monaco. Monaco quite well after I think I did, did alright here. Marseille finished in third, Leon in fourth. In Bundesliga. Bayern Munich won that one quite comfortably as well. Um thirteen points ahead of Leverkusen had a pretty good season, finished second Dortmund, Chaga, but ran under Leipzig, fifth. Wolfsburg on the previous season they finished seventh. Um it's every, it's every very close between very close at the between top, top four, UV, Inter, Napoli and Roma. UV coming out on top, Milan just finished behind in fifth, that's the on six. Uh, and RBC wouldn't look at that. League on in the West, the Portuguese League. Porto won that one one point ahead of Sport and Braga finished in third, Benfica. But the offseason finishing fourth, so they'll probably have to be in the Europa League. Squad for Premiership. No surprise that Celtic won that by such a margin. Hearts been much better in real life than what they did there. Yeah, and Hamilton got relegated. La Liga. Real Madrid won that one. Atletico finishing quite second there, 46 points behind. Barca and Valencia finished running up top four. Sevilla finishing fifth. Uh, just for it, guys. 
MLS is that worth anything? I don't know they're on top right now of of what the season's halfway through. And that looks like that that's it guys, that is a that is a season guys. I guess we'll just simulate to the end. I think you appreciate you guys pull agree it's been a very very mixed season, you could you could call it. So Ruta and Hamilton, they've they've just departed rip. We got we got it's gonna be a very good season. Next season's gonna be it's gonna be very very competitive. You know, you know the championships are very difficult. Obviously, teams come down. You know, I think Huddersfield they got a very good squad for the championship. Um, Wigan they stayed up, so they probably what what one of those relegations. I think probably, I think I think you know because you know since we had since since since, since, since we got promoted, obviously we'll probably obviously be one of the favourites to get relegated. But I, don't, I think we'll be all right next season. Obviously, the money from this season obviously gets trans transferred over on top on top of that transfer budget, which we'll be getting next season anyway. Hope it's decent money. It's probably only going to, be, going to be like seven or eight million, which isn't the greatest. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just just wait until the end of the season, and you know, just just getting final emails and that. Honestly, honestly, like it takes forever to load in second season two. It's actually quite annoying. To be honest. There we go, guys. Last last couple emails. So guys, I'm back, and Lamine Corney and Donald Lover come back on their loans. And end season. This is a review. We're, we're coming to the, to the end of the season, and I'm walking up be happy with what we've performed so far. The players and staff clearly look up to you, and you've done an excellent job aligning yourself with the club vision, both on, on, on and off the pitch. We would be delighted to have you sit club next season. Sincerely, the board of directors. That's all the confirmation I need. There we go, guys. Season one, it's done. Whew. Definitely been one hell of a season. Obviously, you start off so badly. You know, I mean, after me, just in FIFA 19, definitely kicked in as it just wasn't good enough. But you know, as season gradually came on, especially after the January, I think the Tom Mocky and Carlos, Carlos, they, they definitely shifted it up. I know I'm glad, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for season two as well, you know, I'm back in the championship. The first try as well, which hopefully in real life this season we can do, but you know, you, you just don't know the. I think in the championship should be. Should be, should be okay, I'm hoping. Um, yeah, you know, if you just take, just takes forever. The change into this. Changing the new season. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know why, guys. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll see you guys when um the when we start, start season. Two. Oh, guys, that, that, that actually didn't, didn't didn't take very long at all. Here we go, guys. This is the championship table for the 2019-2020 season. I'll be in. I'll be doing my DC season. This Jesus Christ. Look, oh, then Blackburn didn't go. Blackburn didn't go up in the end. Uh, I saw that Swansea didn't. Who was it? Actually, actually, actually I'll, I'll have to check, check the Premier League. But there we go. That's the tables. Quick scan the tables. Very interesting league. Do you say so myself? Anyway, guys, that is my squad. Now to see if make a couple of additions. Should be good with my email. It's just about trying to market. So, guys, season two. So, season two, episode one will hopefully be out. Um, on. Hopefully on Friday night. So yeah, thanks for the thing. That's so much for the support season one. If you enjoyed, if if you enjoyed this episode, please hit the smash the like button. Subscribe if new because I make it feel good. I never miss an episode. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next episode.